took my mom out the hood. Took my mom out the hood. Probably, probably that's, that was one of my favorites. And uh, the first go out, chapter two world domination. The first go out. We're doing the film thing. The film thing is one of my favorites right now. You know we love doing the movies. That's it. You can't beat the movies. You know what I'm saying? We just got nominated for an Oscar. We're the first black rap group. We're the first rap group to ever get. On. The only other rappers that I ever, ever, only other rapper that got nominated for an Oscar was Eminem. You know what I'm saying? He won it for the Eight Mile. So you know what I'm saying? That's a good look right there. They opened the doors for us, so they took it to the next level. The next year, they nominated some niggas. And uh, I don't know how, but we was the niggas they nominated. People would never thought that. People would like, thought that they nominated anybody else besides Streets and Mafia. We the first rap group to ever be nominated for an Oscar. You know what I'm saying? And that's history. Matter of fact, we the second black people, second black motherfuckers to ever be nominated for an Oscar. The first, first black person that was ever nominated for an Oscar was Isaac Hayes for the movie Shaft in 1972. And here it is, 2006. We're the second black people to ever be nominated for an Oscar. Oscar ain't for black people. You know what I'm saying? But it is now, because we changed the game. It's big now. That was for uh, Hard Out Here for a Pimp, off the Hustle and Flow movie. We're finna change the game. The Academy Awards, they fucking with us, they showed us love. We're finna change the whole game. We've been messing with John Singleton since, uh, Baby Boy, the Baby Boy movie. We did the song, My Baby Mama, that aired two times in the movie. We've been messing with us ever since, and we real cool with Craig Brewer, who wrote and directed Hustle and Flow. That's from Memphis, that's a, that's a fan of our music. We had them two connects, so we did the movies. They called us to do the movie. The, the music for the movie. They wanted us to do the whole movie, but they couldn't afford us. <laughs> and they said that on the, the director's, whatever the fuck, on the movie, they said that. The movie's really, you know what I'm saying? We done did everything else they had to do with music. We done been producing folks, doing everything like this. This is our 16th year. We've been doing it for the longest, so we done broke all kind of grounds on that. You know what I'm saying? So right now we just uh finna get into the movies. Just kill it. Hypnotize minds. You know what I'm saying? Check out everything. You know what I'm saying? The clean up man in the movie. My boy Chrome, straight to the pros. He better sign to a major label. So check out his next album. You know what I'm saying? The new Project Pat album. Cook by the book, Fair Stories. Check it out. Just in anything that say hypnotize minds, man, check it out, cause it's gonna be crunk and it's gonna be real. It's gonna be gangster all the way throughout. Not no pop shit, not no crossover shit. It's gonna be real, for sure. If it crossover, it's gonna crossover gangster, and then it ain't gonna crossover on purpose. It's gonna crossover by mistake just because it was so fucking dope they had to do it. Yeah, mafia.